And welcome one and all to another episode of the Being James Bond podcast, the oldest, the longest running, and the most well-known James Bond podcast of all time. Welcome to No Time to Die, the official James Bond podcast. It's the 25th Bond film, and this series will give you unrivaled behind-the-scenes access. We'll hear from Daniel Craig on getting the role. I'm very, very aware of the legacy of these films and what they are. Okay, so Eon has announced a podcast, uh, No Time to Die, the official James Bond podcast, going to be launched in two days from now on the 30th of September. Uh, what do I think this is and what do I think it means for No Time to Die? Uh, I think the first question is not so important, but I think the second question is a little more interesting. Uh, what do I think it's going to be? I think it's going to be the fluff pieces. I mean, pretty much as this trailer announced, uh, it's going to be interviews with the actors, um, some random behind the scenes stuff, probably going to look like the, um, the stuff you would find as extras on a Blu-ray. Uh, now it's going to be doled out in audio form. And I think it's I actually, I think it's audio form. They didn't specifically say if this is going to be a video or an audio cast. The video was pretty nice. So maybe they're going to sweeten it up a little bit and probably play it on the YouTube channel at the very least. Um, in fact, I, I didn't even see anything saying that it's on uh, iTunes or Spotify, etc. cetera. Uh, so again, uh, do I think it's going to be really interesting? Eh, maybe. I mean, I mean, even in, in the promo, it says they're going to interview Daniel Craig on on taking on the role of James Bond, something we've seen, you know, before. We, we've seen it as early as Casino Royale. Uh, and it's not going to be candid. You know, it's going to be the officially on um, press briefing sort of stuff. Uh, but it should be interesting. I'm going to, I'll, like everybody else, I'll check it out, keep watching. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you'll see some additional clips. So probably enough to keep us, you know, wanting more. Um, what does it mean for No Time to Die? Uh, that, to me, is the far more interesting takeaway from this. Uh, it, it seems to be that Eon is, is not flinching in its determination to put out No Time to Die come November. And that's pretty much been the, for many months now, has been the conversation that Bond fans have been having. Do you really think we're going to see a film in November, or are they going to push it forward? Uh, if I had to try to sum up the pulse of the Bond community, I think most people agreed um, that yes, the film is going to get postponed again. Uh, we just had Tenet, which uh, didn't do well. Uh, and and, I, and I, I personally feel like Tenet was not a fair comparison. Personally, in my area, I, I didn't see any promotion. I didn't see any commercials for Tenet. Uh, I, barely, I, I think if I wasn't a movie guy, I frankly wouldn't even have known it was being released. And most people in my area don't even know what theater is open and what's not. Uh, we're still, the whole country is all over the place in terms of um, are, are we back open? How open are we? Um, so, again, a combination of, of people not even realizing the theaters are opening back up with the, the real lack of any marketing push. I mean, I mean, this should have been a blitz for, for Tenet. They should have gone hog wild and said, theaters are open, save cinema, go see this thing. Not much at all. Um, even Mulan. I mean, this Disney Mulan, uh, which I'm hearing is pretty awful. Um, but that's another podcast. In fact, hey, uh, Reviews Without Remorse is back on. Uh, check it out. We, we, I, I touched on my feeling about this new Mulan film, if you're interested. Um, point being, this went straight to streaming. Now, they didn't do a theatrical release, but it was for people on Disney+. Plus. Um, but not only did you not get it with the service, they wanted an extra $30 to, to, to rent this. And that's a tough sell. You're going to charge me now $30 to rent a movie, to watch at home? I don't care how new it is. I mean, I know in a couple of weeks, I'll see it for $5, if not free. So Mulan did pretty poorly. I don't, I don't think they were very happy with those results at all. Uh, here's No Time to Die. And again, by all accounts, they are pushing forward. We got a new poster. Um, I kind of like this one a little bit better than the other one we got. Still, nothing really that special. I mean, it's it's still just a photograph and a logo, but at least it had color. At least it, you know, it wasn't awkwardly posed. It looks like an action shot. So, okay, fine, thumbs up. 
uh, needless to say, my <laughs> um, my standards are getting set really low, so I'll take what we got. Uh, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal talking about how people are looking at No Time to Die to save cinema. Uh, that they're really banking on this being the one now uh, to really pull people back into the theaters. Uh, which it very well could be. Now, I, I have learned my lesson. I'm not going to talk about COVID. I'm not going to talk about whether or not I think we should all be still stuck in our homes. Um, the, the look, if you look around what's happening, people are kind of getting back to normal. We're still wearing masks. Um, so I frankly feel like they, they could be right. This could be the time. I mean, November is still uh, a month and a half away. Uh, really? Well, it's getting close to the end of September. So, um, again, all indications looks like they have all their eyes open and they're saying yes to November. So I think a lot of Bond fans should feel relieved, you know, that this is happening. Um, but let's hope nothing is in stone until... Uh, I forget who said it, but until, I, maybe it was Calvin, but until we see the end credits, I'm not going to be convinced that this film is even there. Um, so, again, who, who knows what can happen, but I think so far all, all signs are good. So we'll check it out. And um, that's it for me. By the way, more coming this week. I'm doing an interview with Warren Ringham, uh, who has just announced his lockdown sessions, his concert sessions. Um, which, again, for people who are, who are bored and, and, and starving, starving for some Bond uh, information, I feel like this is, uh, you know, this is a really good treat uh, for people who need a little, little Bond in their life right now, uh, especially with the hype building up for the film. So I'll be talking to Warren, uh, Warren sometime today, and uh, you'll be seeing that, I think, on Wednesday. So that's it for me. Uh, Spectre Review, absolutely positively, is it's in the editing stages. I'm still sort of doing the finishing touches to the end. Uh, and a trivia night. I'm working on another trivia night. You'll be seeing that again soon. That's it for your good buddy head of section. Still the oldest, still the longest running James Bond podcast out there. Take it easy. Keep living like James Bond. Looking forward to no time to die. Talk to you soon.